Be the Talk, episode 369, featuring Adriana Girdler. Welcome to Be the Talk. We go behind the talk seven days a week for tips and techniques to help you change the world. I'm Nathan Eckel, and a talker myself, I'm interviewing others who change the world with their talk. You can too, even if you've never given a talk before. Let's get started with today's show. We are live with Adriana Girdler. Adriana, are you ready to talk? Oh, yes. Bring it on. (laughs) Adriana Girdler founded Cornerstone Dynamics in 2008, and she has been cited as Canada's foremost business productivity expert. She's been featured and quoted in radio and online TV newspapers and leading edge trade magazine. She's appeared on the Huffington Post and Thrive Global as a contributor, appeared on Global, CBC, CTV, and a host of other outlets. She's been published in the Globe and Mail and numerous numerous industry magazines. We can check out her blog, Cornerstone Dynamics, which is ranked one of the top 200 leadership blogs on the web. Adriana Girdler, welcome to the talk. Thank you so much, Nathan. It is a pleasure to be here. Your talk is called Connect to Your Passion by Listening to the Whisper. And I love the quote that you have right at the end. You say a few things. Vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision passes the time, but vision with action can change the world. Adriana, please take us behind the talk. Thank you. Yeah, it's... It's so critical, and I find it something that is missing, um, really, just generally speaking, um, with people. I'm constantly in the business world, so I'm constantly doing vision statements and getting people connected to what is it they want to do. And we're strategic, and we put the business plan together. And, you know, I do this constantly, and I have people come up to me saying, you know, how can I do this for myself? And what I realize is people forget. They kind of have like these two hats, the hat of I'm a business person and a hat of I'm a person. What we have to realize is we got to connect to the person because it's 24 seven and I'm passionate about what I do. My vision is actually right behind me. And I talked about it in my Ted talk and I have it everywhere. Like it's truly true. I have it everywhere. Um, and it is so critical. We, we all want to fulfill our purpose. We all want to be, quote unquote, deemed successful. And that's another topic we can have, too, because what is success? I think success, for me personally, when I'm trying to teach people, it's this inner journey. It's what exactly do you want to achieve? And from that perspective, um, it's about how do we connect to that so we don't feel like we're spinning our wheels? Because business does it well. So why aren't we doing what is around us? Like, don't reinvent the wheel. Beg, borrow as much as you can. I love about uh, your talk and about your whole persona, Adriana. You you don't have any limits, and uh, you, you mentioned <laughs> the uh, the vision statement back there. So you wrote out your little you know personal corporate type vision statement, and you talk about it in the talk, and then you started being creative with it. You added some color, you added some icons, you added some pictures, and then it took on a life of its own. And then that wasn't even enough. You you created your own theme song. Which, yes. uh, oh, my word. I mean, <laughs> it, it, how cool is that? I don't know it's if it's possible. Cool. I, I don't think I could create my own theme song without violating copyrights, because I think mine would be like a a, a, a mashup of Eye of the Tiger from Rocky Three and the A-Team <laughs> theme. So, I mean, do, do you have that recorded somewhere? <laughs> do you play that with you? Is it you have your own Hail to the Chief? Um, I uh, do. I mean, that, that is just amazing. And you're Canadian. So you, the, the, okay. you know, your prime man, Justin doesn't have his own. Do, is there a, uh, a hail to the chief Canadian version for the prime minister up there? I think, I think Justin should call me and I'll help him out. I think so. You don't have, he doesn't have one. <laughs> no, he needs one. He needs one. Uh, totally. No, it's, you know, the, the whole purpose of what I'm trying to, uh, or what I, what I am really trying to do, because it's something I still do today, is to connect people with, we're, at, at a very young age, we're actually all very in tuned to who we are and what we're about. And we see it magically with kids, right? Mm-hmm. We see them playing and, and how open they are and their creativity. And as we grow up, we have this white noise of life. And then we get bombarded with what I call the shoulds. We should be doing things, these expectations. Um, and it's really important, um, as Kyle, your previous guest said, uh, you know, to really connect with your passion, be passionate about what you want to do. Um, and so how do you do that? Well, you 
you know, from a business side, I mean, you need a plan, you need a strategy, but in order to get your plan and strategy, you need to know where you want to go. You got to dream big, but you have to connect it, not just with the outer, but with the inner. And part of that is the theme song as well. Because of my vision statement, I was able to actually say yes to opportunities that I normally would have said no to. And because I was able to see it and really take a look at it going, oh my gosh, music is so important to me. I can't believe I'm saying no to this one concept that was presented to me, this door of opportunity um, that I was able to say yes to. And that's the power of it being put in a visual, not just having a, a vision statement, but a visual vision statement. And one that really resonates with you that goes to a deeper level, level not just the outer um, things that we want, because things that we want don't represent truly the connection to the purpose. It's about who we want to be. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm curious about this because I, I know you don't work in a silo. I know you have a team. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the, the fearless characteristics of your team that you've assembled and, and how you've kind of worked with them to be able to be as flexible and uh, adventurous as you are, even though I'm sure you have different personalities and different strengths to counterbalance yours uh, on your team? Authenticity, courage, and integrity. Those are things we live by. And you got to be who you are. You have to do things in a respectful way. So, you know, one of the things that uh, my team and I would get complimented on all the time is, um, first of all, we get to know our clients really, really well, which is really important. We get to know their business in order to help them because that's the business that we do. Um, We have the ability to um, be honest with them and not just say yes, like say no. Like I have clients who say, you know what, you're the first consultant who said no to me. I'm like, well, I'm trying (laughs) to say no to you. I'm trying to give you your advice that you're paying me to be here for. So, you know, being authentic is honoring who you are and not backing down on it. I think part of the visual vision is really important. It keeps me tuned to who I am and connected so I don't lose sight of it because I can have something shiny and go, oh my goodness, I want that, and then drop my authenticity. Integrity is really important to me. I think you have to be open and honest and respectful. I think what comes around goes around, and sometimes we forget that. Not everybody, but some people do. And then the courage part. Have, have the courage to step up and say yes and say no when needed, which is kind of interesting too. Well, we are enjoying this discussion with Adriana Girdler. Her talk is called Connect to Your Passion by Listening to the Whisper. And we're going to be right back with Adriana in just a moment for the Blitz Round. And we're back with Adriana Girdler. It is time for the Blitz Round. I'm going to ask Adriana a series of either-or questions related to the preparation and performance of her recent talk. Are you ready, Adriana? I, I think so. <laughs> first, okay, go. First go. off, were, were you invited to speak? <laughs> were you invited or did you apply? Hell no, I applied because damn it, I had a vision and that was really important to me. So I did everything in my power to make it happen. Damn it. Sorry. I think you you may be the, the only person I have uh, interviewed today. And I've interviewed several who actually applied as I also had to apply and the rest of us had to apply. Yes. So how, what was that process like for you? Um, it was frustrating, the applying process, because I've applied for quite a few years and get declined, 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 declined. And uh, the one, the TEDx Hickory, they actually wanted a video. So I was authentic, had courage and integrity, <laughs> like honestly, the stuff I believe in. Mm-hmm. And I just was me. And they told me it was the video that sold them. And, and, and they really liked the topic. They felt it really resonated. And they had quite a few other really great uh, guests at their TED Talk. And they thought it would be a really nice mix. So um, that's really what won them over. So really being true to who you are. This is all I'm preaching. Be true to who you are. But you got to do a little bit of work. And you got to put it in vision. And usually the video uh, is, I think, a requirement for a lot of places. So you gotta Definitely. gotta put out that video and keep it short. Because I've, yes. I've been on the, the video screening committee and uh, it's amazing what, what you can see uh, that, that people will send in. Uh, Adriana, are you a memorizer, improviser, or blender? I'm a blender. For this one, I did prepare. Um, they Actually, I was very impressed with how they did it. They were very strict. We had a mentor. We had to go through all of that. Um, so I prepared the concept. But when I speak, um, I do improvise. So I, have, I know in my head what I want to talk about. I know the flow of where it needs to go. But then when I'm up there... What comes out, comes out. I can never duplicate it. Hmm. What's a tip, tool, or technique that helped you? Um, 
PowerPoint. So I first did that with visuals. And because a story is worth a thousand words, right? A picture is worth a thousand words. I had to pick the right imagery. And then behind that imagery, I knew what my bullet points were. And so it was just the bullet points that I would kind of expand upon because I knew that image has three bullet points that I want to attest and I want to speak to. So I'm just going to expand upon them. And I have a little technique. I have a treadmill and a spinning bike. So I do all of my practicing on my treadmill. And spinning nice. Bike. <laughs> nice. Your heart's going. And heart's just going. like when you walk out on that stage, your heart's going. So that's <laughs> exactly. actually really, it, really it good preparation. Well. You get totally more prepared well. in that state than you do in a calm state because you are anything but calm when you walk it, out. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, and, and just to unpack the PowerPoint piece, um, if I understand you correctly, so you created a PowerPoint, but you, you basically put one image on every PowerPoint as opposed yeah. to having the bullet points on. That was your private preparation. And so you were able to associate a picture with two or three main points that were not yeah. listed on the, on the, uh, the visuals just wanted to lay that out just in case totally. people were going to put their, uh, their death by bullet point out there, which Don't is not a very it. good Don't TED talk. Do it. Yeah. No, I've no, seen, no, no. I've seen a bunch, uh, in my position, I review a, a lot of, of people that want to be on be the talk. I see a lot of them. And I don't want that to be mine. And I don't want that to be yours talk universe when you walk out for yours, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. A picture is a picture's perfect. It, it can resonate and it can give emotion and it can connect to people. And that's really what you want to do. You want to connect with people. You want to tell a story. And that was the other thing, too. I really wanted to connect and tell a story. Yeah. And I mean, it, it's so uh, obvious many times that uh, especially the, the people that are invited to speak, they'll, you know, because they're invited or they're bringing some something to the stage or whatever they're they're often not as eager i've found to really enter into the spirit of a, of a real branded uh ted talk um or signature talk uh in, in in terms of the format and they might take you know something that's their normal keynote and try to chop it up or change it by 20 percent or something and and the audience can tell uh for sure when you when you do that so you want to use visuals you want to really stick to the heart of of an idea worth spreading uh, that yeah. is truly worth spreading. Um, here's, totally. here's the cut for time question, uh, Adriana. What was what was uh, the most painful part of your talk that you had to cut out? Um, I didn't have to cut anything out because I was very cognizant that I had 18 minutes. Hmm. So if anything, I had, I'm a talker, maybe you noticed that or not, um, and I can talk. So my biggest concern was that I would go past my time. So I can fill in gaps quite easily. And so that was probably the biggest pain point is I had to get in my head of get to your point, Andrea, get, get to it and stop trying to flower it up <laughs> there. I'm stopping to talk. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, what, what, what was the most unexpected, strange or just plain weird thing that happened right before or during your talk, Adriana? My mouth got so dry and that's never happened to me. And I think because I, I believe because it was a TED talk, not because the audience, the audience was lovely. I mean, we got to interact with them. We were there for the whole day. It's because I knew it was going to be on video and it was going to be out there. And it was a TED and it was like, oh my God, I'm going to, I'm going to link this to myself. And I was so nervous, wanting to do a really good job and people connect with it. I was so dry. I was doing that and not recognizing it. And it was only when like midway through my talk, I'm like, what? Are you doing and i i couldn't bring a bottle of water with me because I, I was fearful i would do this like shake my hand as oh, I'm the, drinking. The, the shake yeah the <laughs> shake. Like, i can't do that they didn't have yeah. uh they didn't have a glass of water for the speakers off stage or they, they, they did they and did. i drank okay. tons of water beforehand okay. um and i really made sure i was um you know lubed up so to speak right by drinking tons of water i just i was it just automatically i walked on stage and was like dry Desert Drive. I was like, wow, that's never happened to me. And before. that never that's happened on the happened. treadmill or the spin no, bike either. It's a little no, different no, no, dynamic. No. And that's, that was for me. Obviously, I was really, I was very <laughs> nervous. I was very nervous because I really wanted to do a great job. You know what I mean? Well, we've been enjoying this blitz round with Adriana Girdler. Her uh, talk is called Connect to Your Passion by Listening to the Whisper. And if you want to check out that talk, you can go to our show notes page at bethetalk.com. We'll have a link to it there. We will also have a link to Adriana's company uh, website, cornerstonedynamics.com, cornerstonedynamics.com, so that you can connect with her, check out what she's doing. 
uh, with with vision boards and mottos and and vision statements and uh, personal theme uh, songs and all kinds of other amazing things. And we're going to be back with Adriana Girdler in just a moment for her final word of advice. And we are back with Adriana Girdler's final word of advice. What is it? Well, first, I, I want to, uh, that you, I just, I got out of the moment. Um, I do have another website, myvisualvision.com, which is dedicated totally to this. So please check that out. My, my word of advice is when you want to figure out your purpose, connect inwardly. That's what it's about. It's not about the external stuff. And sometimes people get cut off in that and the white noise and it distracts them from truly who you are and what you want to do. So you have to do reflection work, benchmark what you're all about. Um, and then from there, you can decide who you are and what it is that you want and create your own visual vision. And uh, myvisualvision.com has a lot of great tips and tricks that you can look at. Adriana Girdler, thank you so much for coming on the talk today and sharing your wisdom with Talk Universe. Thank you so much, Nathan. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to Be The Talk. For tips and resources to help you change the world, go to bethetalk.com. See you tomorrow.